our first Soundtrap uh, video. We're going to just today look at how to get started up on Soundtrap, um, how we're going to create a project, open up the studio, and just drag some audio files and make sure they all work together. Mm -hmm. So regardless of whether you're on a Windows or a MacBook, um, so Windows laptop or MacBook, go to Google Chrome um, or whatever internet you're using. You type in Soundtrap. Press enter and it should come up with Soundtrack Music Online. You click the link and you should be greeted to a screen that looks like this. So I'm a teacher at secondary school, so some of you won't need to know this, but for those of you that are my students, just to mention, um, when you create a new account, please use your school email um, and please use a password that you are going to remember, okay, so that you've got access to that because then you can use it at home and also whilst in school. So uh, what we're going to do is just click login. When you go to login, the quick way I do it is I go on login with Google and then I select my uh, account. Again, um, if you go on sign up, you just do it the standard way. You use an email address that you know and then a password. You'll be agreed with this screen. Um, this says start your one month free trial. So. In regards to your one month uh, free trial, what I'd say there is, I I don't bother. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I've not tried it. It does seem quite good though. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna exit that for now. Top left, nice and easy. Press Enter Studio. So once you enter the studio and it loads up, just give it a second to do so. Okay, just gonna make sure I've got some good volume here. Yeah. You get a choice of music and podcasts. So if you're interested in doing pro, uh, podcasts, you can also do one of those as well, which is fantastic. But today we're going to look at music and create a music project from scratch. Okay, I'm glad Pan's Beatmaker has come up. So Pan's Beatmaker is going to come up um, in lesson two. So after this video is done, search for lesson two. I'm going to go into Pan's Beatmaker and how that all works. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So. But for today, we're going to look at just starting up a nice, easy session and dragging some audios in. So as you can see here, you've got add new track, browse loops, patterns, beat maker, play the synth, etc., etc. Okay, so I'm going to click on browse loops. Yep. And you will see that on the right side, loops has come up here. Okay. So if I click on, we will go on drums first because I always like to start with drums you will see that a lot of these drums come up with a start free supreme trial. Effectively, that means that if you're not paying or you're on the one month free trial, you don't have access to those drums. So if I keep going down, I'm just going to find Anthem here. Oh, that was a fill. I wondered why that wasn't quite full. So it is me. Okay, excellent. So if I click, I'm going to drag that into my session. So you left click, hold, and drag across and drop. And then what you'll notice is that that has automatically done some great things here. So here is our beat. It's actually down in MIDI format instead of being in audio, which is something we'll talk about in a later lesson. But you'll notice as well that we've got this bar here that when it's highlighted is looped. So if I play this beat again, the bottom. Okay, by the time we get over to eight, it will just continue and go back to the start. Excellent. Okay, for those eagle eyed of you, you will have noticed that the bottom here it says tempo 80. Now, when we first started this section, it acts, uh, session, it said 120 BPM. Okay, so that's what it started with. So it's actually automatically taken that drum beat and matched the project tempo to the beat that we have put in. Okay, which is brilliant. Okay, it makes it nice and easy. So I'm going to press X here. The reason for that is if you notice on the top right, and I press hip hop, then I press new, then I press sounds, then I press RB, it starts to add all the different ones together. And you don't want to do that. I would recommend you do drums, choose your drums, and then take them away. So I'm going to click add new track. Now, when you click add new track, you've got a lot of different options here. Okay. Again, I'm going to go to loop library at the bottom. You could, if you like, just quite simply drag. Okay. Over here. Okay. It's not even come up with new track, so you can do it this way. Now what I'm going to do, I've got quite a nice little groove there. I'm just going to find a guitar. So again, 
One thing I really love about Soundtrap that they do fantastic um, is they tell you what would work well with the drum beat you've picked. So it says top picks for this project. So if I press Atlantis, Guitar Mel Melody 1. Okay, so already Soundtrap is telling us what they think is going to work quite nicely with it. So I'm going to click and drag that Atlantis and click and drop and let go. Okay, so now let's hear that together. I would say that did not actually work out quite nicely. It's one of those things you've got to keep listening to and find the one that works for you. So it's not always going to be accurate. Let's try two guitar pattern three here. Don't forget some of these will be getting stretched to the BPM as well. So let's see what happens here when I press play. Just mind me, I've got a dog trying to nudge the laptop. Okay, so that sounds a lot better. Yeah, very nice. Okay, perfect. So now, again, if I press the X button, again, it's starting to give me different instruments. So if I press bass beach here, let's get rid of soundtrack there. Okay, let's click and drag that in. Okay, let's see how that sounds with the new bass. Yeah. So it works again. Very nice. Let's just try and see if we can find one extra thing. What's the piano called to like? Could work. Let's give it a go. I'm going to add it in later, though. So, he says that, actually, I might put it in because it looks like it fits in the 8th pedal. It does. Okay, so here we go. So this is nice. Nope, not in the right key. So the one negative I've found about Soundtrap is that it doesn't tell you actually what this is in. It just says these are our top picks. So unlike Soundation, which gives you the notes, Unfortunately, with Soundtrap, it does not, but it does give you different ideas that you might like. Okay, so again, we'll just try something else, see if it works. So this might sound quite nice as an intro. Oh, no, it's all coming in. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like together. Could be horrible. <laughs> It works. I'm not sure it's the best beat I'll ever come up with in my time, but you get the idea. I'm just going to mute it. Okay, so the idea, guys, is you want to just have a play about, see what works well for you. So have a play, see what works well for you. You know, like I said, there's a lot of things up here. You've got different genres, so rock, EDM. Hip hop, you've also got the different instruments that you've got available to you uh, to use. Okay, so that's the end of lesson one today. So that's just quite simply how to set up a um, profile. Okay, so remember you need an email address and a password. You click sign up, it's free. And um, there is the one month uh, trial in which you can also pay for um, the added sounds and the premium trial. And then finally, you just quite simply, nice and easy drag some loops across, okay, and they will start to bring together. If you zoom out, you'll see that you can keep this going forever, okay? So thank you very much, guys. That's lesson one. Lesson two, we're going to be looking at patterns, beat, maker. Please give this channel a like and subscribe for more Soundtrap, Soundation, and Band Lab content, and lots more music content. And also, you may have seen Big Anime and Gaming Fan 
some more anime and gaming content as well to boot. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Thank you.